Tropical Storm Ian. Again, notice it has not strengthened as forecast today. There's a lot of dry air I wanted to point out on the western and northern side of the system and actually zooming out. This is where it's forecast ahead in the eastern Gulf. There's a lot of dry air there too. We know that models don't deal very well factoring in dry air when they come out with their solutions. So we will have to see. We'll see how the dry air plays in. Still though, even besides the dry air, there's very warm water, a lot of energy from the warm water here, and there's also low shear, at least for the next few days. So we are expecting Ian still to strengthen. That's why the National Hurricane Center still has this forecast, bringing it quickly to a category three and then maybe even category four storm by Tuesday and Wednesday when it gets into the eastern Gulf. And again, you may notice if you watched on Saturday, the track was just slightly closer to Louisiana and Mississippi. Today, it has shifted a little bit farther, a little bit back east, and that is because of what some of the models are doing, particularly the ones the GFS cluster of models was closer to us. Today, those have shifted back to the east. Some southwesterly shear here may actually make Ian weaken a bit, which would be a great thing before landfall along Florida's coast. You can see the cluster of models back over a little farther to the right. Here is the steering pattern with the trough drawing Ian in and our two high pressure centers kind of rounds the curve there off to the north and northeast. So that's why we're thinking it's taking that path and the models obviously in pretty good agreement now agreeing that that is what it will do. Our seven day forecast here for Louisiana and Mississippi though beautiful fall weather. Look at those cool lows north of the lake in the 50s, 